Okay. All right, so this is on my 2015 S550 doing a rear brake job. Um, I missed a step following tutorials and I didn't press the uh, parking brake out uh, before starting the job. So something I missed. And what ended up happening is if you take the brakes off and you somehow press the brake pad or reactivate the system like I did, it will push this out to set the parking brake again. All right, so what's going to happen is the piston is going to come out so it's usually going to come out it's going to be kind of like that and you can take it out and this is going to be kind of loose and this will come out of this little socket so what you have to do is you're going to have this little spindle right here uh whatever this part is you're going to need to twist that back on the spindle only takes about one two turns that's about it stop right there it can be slightly loose on there that's perfectly fine um so you're going to prepare for the next step at that point so when you have that on there, make sure your boot is on there and that way you can put the piston back around the boot for the dust cover and everything. So next, put your caliber up there. All right, now you're gonna take off the parking brake actuator. Those have two T25s, I believe they are, screws. Uh, take that off and you're gonna expose the hole and it actually like moves the uh, spindle. And you have a T45, I believe. Um, and you're going to put it right there in that hole counterclockwise puts it on clockwise takes it off I believe um, you, you'll figure it out once you get it and you're going to actually spindle uh, Spin that spindle back all the way down into its seats Okay, so you can do it by hand or a little tool like mine So that's going to be your next step to get that uh, flush back into that little um, area and I'm talking about that silver part on the top right here Go down to Harbor Freight, get yourself a brake pad compressor tool that I got there. That was $8, kind of a cheaper one. And you're going to set it up how I have it here because you're going to press the piston back into the housing. Um, you can't really do it by hand because it's going to be uneven. So you're going to set up this little $8 tool. Um, you're going to set it up right here in the middle. And what you're going to do is you're just going to turn it. And it's going to force it back in there. Make sure a little lubrication of um, the fluid is on the piston itself. And it's going to slide back in to the piston housing. And then you're also going to have to put the boot back over it too. So that may take a little while to get the boot on because it does not want to go easily. All right. So, well, what you see here is so I pressed it all the way back into the housing. The boot cover is back on. And you're pretty much finished at this point. I would recommend doing a brake bleed to make sure no air got in there by any chance into the lines. So you, you pretty much know how to do that. It takes a couple uh, minutes per wheel to do. Um, after you got that, you're pretty much able to put the caliber back on, stick some new brakes on there, and you're good to go.